This video is going to explain about future spread strategy. What is spread strategy? Spread by definition is taking two opposite positions simultaneously in futures market. Two opposite position here means you start transaction in futures market by taking buy and sell position. So buy and sell is a two opposite position. In this example or in this video, I would like to discuss about interman spread. So what is interman spread? Interman spread is a simultaneous trading of the futures contracts with similar underlying asset and similar market but different contracts month. For example, you buy me CPO futures and sell July CPO futures at Bursa Malaysia. So this is example for interman spread. Okay, if you look at this example, you buy both con you buy and sell contract simultaneously. So that is spread. Interman means same underlying asset, same market, different contract month. So in this example, the underlying asset for both contract is CPO futures. Both transaction means buy and sell activities happen in Bursa Malaysia. So same market. The difference is contract month. You buy me contract at the same time you sell July contract. So this is inter month spread. We have two types of future spread strategy for inter month spread. The first one is bear spread strategy. The second one is bull spread strategy. So your spread strategy is based on your market prediction. So if you expect a market is going to decrease or bearish trend in the market, then you need to use bear spread strategy. If you expect a market is going to increase or bullish trend, you need to use bull spread strategy. If you use bear spread strategy, you need to enter futures market and you open position, you need to take two opposite position. The first one, you need to sell near term futures. The second one, you need to buy further term futures. At the end of the spread strategy period, you need to close out your position by taking opposite position. Okay, the contract that you start with sell, you need to close out using buy. The contract that you start with buy transaction, you need to close out using sell transaction. For bull spread strategy, you use when you expect a bullish trend in the market. Okay, so you need to enter futures market. You start position or open position. You need to buy near term futures. At the same time, you sell further term futures. To close out your transaction for bull spread strategy, you need to sell near-term futures and buy further-term futures. So what is near-term futures? Near-term futures is a contract with shorter maturity period compared to the further-term futures. Okay, for example, if you refer to this table for case number one, let's say now is April 2020, and you have two futures contract with different contract month. So in the market, you have June futures contract and you have September futures contract. So before you can start your spread strategy, you must identify which contract month is near term, which contract month is further term. So near term means contract that has shorter maturity period compared to the further term. So for case number one, let's say now is April, June contract is considered as a near-term futures because April to June is only three months compared to the September. September, April, May, June, July, August, September, six months. So near terms, short maturity period, three months. September futures for further term because longer maturity period, which is six months. We look at another example for case number two. Let's say now is August. Okay, so you have two futures contract here, October futures and December futures. For October futures, it's a near term and December futures is further term because October has shorter maturity period.
compared to the December. So October to sorry August to October is just three months. August to December, August, September, October, November, December. So five months. Okay. So when you read the question or you analyze any case or you have two futures contract, you must identify which one is near term futures, which one is further term futures. Let's move to the best spread strategy. The first step is to choose your spread strategy. If you expect a bearish trend in the market, or you expect the price of futures contract is going to decrease, then you must choose best spread strategy in the futures market. In order to implement best spread strategy, you also must identify what is your near-term futures and what is your further-term futures. The second step is to prepare spread table. So what is spread table? Spread table is a table where you outline in detail all your transaction for your best spread strategy. So basically, we have two columns in best spread table. The first column represent near-term futures contract. The second column represent further-term futures contract. So if you use best spread strategy, today, your transaction, you must sell near-term futures contract. At the same time, you need to buy further-term futures contract. And then later on, when you want to close out your position, you need to use offsetting method where you take opposite position from your open position. For example, if you look at this table, for near-term futures, you start with sell futures contract, then you need to close out offsetting, you buy near-term futures contract. For further-term futures, you start buy further-term futures contract. To close out your position, you need to sell your further-term futures contract. Then you can calculate the basis point for spread table. You can calculate based on the time call uh, row. Okay, for example, you calculate basis point for today and basis point for later, or you can calculate based on the type of the contract. For example, you can calculate basis point for near-term futures and you can calculate basis point for further term futures. The formula is selling price minus buying price and then you can total up here in the last box uh, in the table, okay, uh, either you plus today basis point plus later basis point based on the time or you can base on the contract near term basis point plus further term basis point. So this is step number two. Step number three, you need to calculate profit for near term and further term futures. So step number three is based on your futures contract. If you use FCPO futures contract, then you need to use FCPO formula for profit and loss. Okay, so step number three, you need to change the formula based on the futures contract that you use in your spread strategy. If you use FMG futures contract, then you need to use formula FMG profit or loss for, for FMG contract. And the last step, which is step number four, you need to calculate net profit from best spread strategy. So the formula is net profit, best spread strategy, profit or loss you get from near term futures contract plus profit or loss that you get from further term futures contract. Let's move to the example for best spread strategy. In this example, I'm using FCPO futures contract. Case one. Bear spread for FCPO contract. Mr. Johan works as, as the investment manager of a foreign investment bank. He believes that FCPO market is in a bearish trend due to the decreasing demand of crude palm oil in the market. Presently, in early January 2020, FCPO is trading at RM2757, RM2777, RM2605, and RM2599 for May, June, July, and August FCPO contracts respectively. He decides to trade 8 contracts for each June and August FCPO. The broker's commission charge is at RM27 per contract. 
calculate his net profit or loss from the spread strategy if he closed up his position in May. The following market price are reported in May 2020. May FCPO contract is priced at 2666, June FCPO contract priced at 2660, July FCPO contract priced at 2541, and August FCPO contract priced at 2535. To answer this question, first step, you need to choose your spread strategy. So based on the market prediction mentioned in the question, you expect a bearish trend in the market or price is going to decrease, so you must use bear spread strategy in FCPO market. Then you need to identify your near-term futures and further-term futures. You plan to use June FCPO contract and August FCPO contract. So June FCPO contract is the near-term futures because it has shorter maturity period compared to the August FCPO which is we consider as a further term futures because it has a longer maturity period. Step number two, you need to prepare spread table. So to prepare spread table, first you need to prepare three columns. The first column is for near term futures, the second column for further term futures, and the last column is where you calculate the basis point. So today, in January, the first row, you open position, you sell near-term futures, and at the same time, you buy further-term futures. So in this case, today, in January 2020, you open position for near-term futures, you sell 8 June FCPO contract at price RM2,777 ringgit. At the same time, for further term futures, you open position, you buy 8 August FCPO contract at price 2599. Later on, when it comes to May, you need to close out your position in both futures contract. So for near term futures, you start with sell. So close out, you need to exercise offsetting. So you buy 8 June FCPO contract at price 2660. For further term futures, you start today, January 2020, you buy 8 contract. So to close out in May 2020, you need to offsetting by selling 8 August FCPO contract at price 2535. Next, you need to calculate the basis point. So you can calculate basis point based on time, which is you calculate basis point for today and later. Or you can calculate basis point based on contract. So you can calculate basis point for near term futures and for further term futures. So if you calculate basis point based on time, for example, you want to calculate today basis point. So the formula for basis point is selling price minus buying price. So today selling price is 2777 minus today buying price which is 2599, you get 178 positive. For later basis point, you sell at 2535 minus buying price 2660, so you get negative 125. So you sum up today basis point with the later basis point, you get 53 basis point. If you calculate basis point based on futures contract, so you need to calculate near term basis point, which is selling price minus buying price. So near term selling price is 2777 minus buying price 2660. So you get 117. For further term futures, which is for August FCPO, the selling price is 2535 minus buying price 2599 so you get negative 64 so 174 for near term basis point plus further term basis point which is negative 64 so you get 53 step number three you need to calculate profit from near term and further term fcpo so in this example we use fcpo contract so we need to use formula profit and loss for fcpo which is selling price minus buying price times number of contract 
times size of contract minus broker's commission times number of contract. So selling price and buying price for August and June contract, you need to refer to the your spread table. Okay, so when you calculate the profit and loss for August FCPO, you get negative 13,000 and 16 ringgit. Did so you get negative, negative means you make loss, loss is cash outflow. For June FCPO contract, you get 23,184 positive. Positive is profit, profit is cash inflow. So the last step, which is step number four, you need to calculate net profit from best spread strategy. So profit or loss near term FCPO plus profit or loss further term FCPO. So for near term, in this case is June contract, you get 23,184 ringgit, positive cash inflow. For further term futures, you make a loss of one of 13,060. So cash outflow because it is a loss. So you sum up total net profit you get is 10,168 ringgit. This is example for best spread strategy by using FKLI contract. If you look at this example, the difference between best spread strategy for FCPO, the previous one, with this one, which is the FKLI, is only in step number three, where you change the formula profit and loss to formula profit and loss for FKLI. Let's read the case. In January 2020, a trader planned to spread the market by using March and May FKLI contract at two-day price 1150 and 950 respectively. He expects, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the bearish trend is going to start in Bursa Malaysia. He plans to use 70 contract in his spread strategy and needs to pay his broker's commission of 22 ringgit per contract. Calculate his spread profit if he closed out his position in March where price for March and May, FKLI is at 1010 and 900 respectively. So first step, choose your spread strategy. Your market prediction is bearish, so we use bear spread strategy. So we have two types of contract here, March and May FKLI. So near term contract is March FKLI, further term futures is May FKLI. Then you prepare the spread table. Okay, near term, you need to sell. Further term, which is May, you need to buy today. Then you close out, take opposite position. For near term or March FKLI, you need to buy because you start open sell. For further term, which is May FKLI, you open using buy transaction. Then close out, you need to sell that contract. The number of contract when you open and close must be the same number of contract. For in this case, we use 17. And then you can calculate the basis point based on time. Or you can calculate the basis point based on the contract. Step number three, you need to calculate profit from near term and further term futures. For near term futures, you get positive 118,626, which is the profit, so equal to the cash inflow. For May FKLI, you get negative 42,874 ringgit, which is it is a loss, so loss is cash outflow. So if you look at step number three, I change the formula to FKLI formula. Okay, so if you answer spread question for FMG contract, Step number three, you need to change to FMG contract formula. So step number four, you need to calculate net profit from the best spread strategy. So profit or loss from near term FKLI plus profit or loss for further term FKLI. So you sum up, you get 75,752 ringgit. Let's move to the bull spread strategy. So bull spread strategy you use when you expect a bullish market or price is going to increase. So step number one for bull spread strategy, you need to choose your spread strategy. 
Okay, so if you expect a bullish trend or price is going to increase, then you use bull spread strategy. Then you need to identify what is your near term futures, what is your further term futures. And then you bull spread table, step number two. Okay, so near term futures, you need to buy near term futures today. At the same time, for further term futures, you need to sell further term futures contract today. Later, you need to close out your contract. Okay, for near term futures, you start open, buy near term, then close out your offsetting, sell near term futures. You take opposite position. Same goes to the further term futures contract. You open position, you sell contract, so you close out your offsetting, you buy further term futures contract. Then you can calculate basis point based on the time of the transaction or based on the contract of the transaction. For example, you can calculate today basis point and later basis point. Then you sum up today basis point and later basis point. You get total basis point. Or you can calculate near term basis point and further term basis point. You sum up the near term and further term basis point. You also get the total basis point from the spread strategy. Step number three, you need to calculate profit from near term and further term futures. So... In step number three, you must choose your formula profit and loss based on the type of the contract. Okay, if you answer for FCPO, you use formula profit and loss for FCPO. If you answer question for FKB3, then you need to use formula profit and loss for FKB3. Then step number four, you calculate net profit from bull spread strategy. So spread net profit is profit or loss near term futures contract plus profit or loss for further term futures contract. Let's move to the example best spread strategy. For this case, I'm using FCPO contract. We have two table here. The first one is FCPO market report on 1st March 2020. And the second one, FCPO market report on 1st July 2020. Based on the information reported on 1st March 2020 and 1st July 2020, you need to prepare the suitable spread strategy if the FCPO market is predicted to have bullish trend in 2020. You plan to spread by using 19 July FCPO and 19 July September FCPO contract. Calculate your net profit on 1st July 2020 if the broker's commission is at 20, 32 ringgit per contract. So step number one, you need to choose your spread strategy. So market prediction is bullish trend or price is going to increase. Therefore, investor must choose bull spread strategy in FCPO market. Then you need to identify your near term and further term futures. So in this case, near term is July FCPO and further term is September FCPO contract. Step number two, you need to prepare your spread table. So you have two columns. You have column for July FCPO, which is the near term contract. And you have September FCPO, which is the further term contract. So today, 1st March, you open position your strategy is buy near term, sell further term. So you buy 19 July FCPO contract. So the number of contract is 19 contract. You buy July because July is the near term contract. At the same time, you sell 19 contracts of September FCPO because September FCPO is the further term futures contract. Later on, 1st July, you need to close out position for July contract. You start buy in 1st March, 1st July, you need to sell. For September contract, you start 1st March, you sell FCPO for September. Then for then in July, you need to buy futures contract for September contract. Then you can calculate the basis point based on time, which is today basis point and later basis point. Or you can calculate based on type of contract, which is you can calculate basis point for near term and calculate basis point for further term. 
Step number three, you need to calculate profit from near term and further term FCPO. For July FCPO, selling price and buying price, you need to refer to your to your spread table. So you sell July at price 2501 and you buy at price 2612. So you get negative 53,333 ringgit. So negative means you make loss. Loss is cash outflow. For September contract, you sell at 2798 and buy at 2610. So you get positive 88,692 ringgit. So positive means you make profit. Profit is cash inflow. Step number four, you need to calculate net profit from bear spread strategy. So spread net profit, profit or loss near term FCPO plus profit or loss further term FCPO. So near term, you make a total loss 53,333 ringgit. So loss, you need to put negative because it is a cash outflow. For further term, you make a profit 88,692. So 88,692 profit cash inflow. So positive sign. So your total profit or loss is 35,359 ringgit. Now I'll show you example best spread strategy by using FKLI. Case number 4, FKLI contract. Based on the following information, calculate your profit and loss if you plan to speculate the market by taking two opposite positions simultaneously in FKLI market. So we have report in September 2020. For November FKLI, the price at 1450 December FKLI price at 15989 and then we have report in October 2020 November contract at 1684 and December FKLI at price 1630 Additional information broker commissions is RM21 per contract you plan to use 16 FKLI contracts and you expect market is bullish market so when the question state, you want to speculate the market by taking two opposite positions simultaneously in FKLI market, that means you're going to use spread strategy. Next, you must look at what is your market expectation. In this example, the market expectation given is bullish market. And then we have two types of futures contract here. The first one is November FKLI. The second one is December FKLI. So November FKLI is the near term futures contract. December FKLI is further term futures contract. Step number one, you need to choose your spread strategy. You expect a bullish trend or price is going to increase. So we use bull spread strategy in FKLI market. So the near term futures is November FKLI. Further term futures is December FKLI. Step number two, you need to prepare spread table. So you have two columns, near term column for November FKLI and then further term column for December FKLI. So today, November FKLI, you buy 16 contract and for December FKLI, today you need to sell 16 contract at price 1589. Later on, you need to close out your transaction in October. So for November FKLI, you start buy, then you close out with sell so you start buy 16 November FKLI, so close sell 16 November FKLI. For further term, which is December contract, you start sell 16 contract at price 1589, then close out, you take opposite position by 16 December FKLI at price 1630. Then you need to calculate basis point for spread table. So you can calculate based on time or you can calculate based on contract. If you want to calculate based on time, so today basis point, you take selling price 1589 minus buying price 1450, so you get a positive 139. And for later basis point, you sell at 1684 minus buy 1630, you get positive 54, so you sum up, you get 193. If you want to calculate based on the futures contract, for November FKLI, selling price at 1618, 
1684 minus 1450, you get 234. For December contract, you sell at 1589 minus 1630, so you get negative 41. So you sum up, you also get 193. Step number three, you need to calculate profit from near term and further term futures. So November FKLI, you calculate a profit, you get positive 186,864. So you get positive, positive means you make profit, profit cash inflow. So the formula profit and loss here, you must use FKLI contract because this question using FKLI contract. If the question using FMG, then you need to change the formula to the formula profit and loss for FMG. For December contract, you calculate, you get negative 33,136 ringgit. So negative means you make loss, loss is cash outflow. So last step. You need to calculate net profit from best spread strategy. So best spread strategy, the net profit, profit or loss from near term FKLI plus profit or loss for further term FKLI. So near term, you get positive 186,864 ringgit. So positive cash inflow, positive. For further term, you get loss of 33,136. So loss is cash outflow. I put it negative. So total net profit you get is 153,720, 153,728 ringgit. So as summary, to recap, for best, for spread strategy in futures market, for intermont spread, we have two types of strategy. The first one is bear spread strategy and the second one is bull spread strategy. So you need to choose your spread strategy based on your market expectation. If you expect best market, bearish market, then you must use bear spread strategy. If you expect a bullish trend, you need to use bull spread strategy. For spread, we have four steps only. The first one, you choose your spread strategy. Second, prepare spread table. The third step is the most important step. You need to calculate profit for each future contract that you use in your spread strategy. So step number three, you need to change it based on the futures contract. If you answer for FCPO contract, then you use formula profit and loss for FCPO futures. If you answer for FKB3, then you need to change it based on formula FKB3. And the last step, you calculate spread net profit. So the rest of the video, I will show about the example past year question for spread strategy. The first one is spread FCPO. So you can go through for each of the uh, example and then try to solve it and you can check the answer after the question.
Thank you for watching my video for spread with futures contract.